Welcome to Blood this is George G, and the time is right. Welcome to today's guest, strong and powerful Dr. Forrest Sauer. Forrest, are you ready to do this? I am. Thanks for having me. Ah, excited to have you on. Let's go. Dr. Forrest is the founder of Twin Oaks Health. They're an alternative medicine practice that helps people manage complex health problems like diabetes, thyroid disease, and depression. Forrest, excited to have you on. Tell us a little bit about your personal life, some more about your work, and why you do what you do. Well, I, I am a functional medicine practitioner, and I got here because I obviously had some my, of my own uh, personal health challenges. When I was in my early 20s, I was depressed. I hit the snooze alarm five times before ever wanting to get up. All of my drive and motivation was gone, and I was told that this was normal. I thought this was how aging was. And lo and behold, I was nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, we were meant to have energy. We we're meant to have purpose in a life. And when I got exposed to a healthy way of living and really the functional medicine approach, that completely and radically changed not just my health, but the health of my family and my entire outlook on life. And I know without a doubt that if I had not change my health, there'd no be, be no way that I'd be in private practice today because I would not have the the brain power to do it. I wouldn't be able to have the, the drive and motivation to do what I do every day. And so this has literally shaped my life. So functional medicine, yes. what, is, what is that? Functional medicine is the science of getting at the root underlying cause of the problem. So for a perfect example, if you go into the medical doctor at your local hospital or clinic, you're going to tell them some symptoms and you're going to get a medication or maybe some labs taken as the fix. With functional medicine, we're focusing on why you have that symptom in the first place and how do we fix it so that way we don't have to mask those symptoms with medications that you're going to have to take for the rest of your life. So really, it's the science of reversing diseases, if you will. If you have diabetes, if you have thyroid, depression, anxiety, problems with sleep, problems with weight, that's where functional medicine can, and you want to take a natural approach. That's where functional medicine can step in and completely reverse that. And when you say that, it sounds like such a, sounds like the right approach. <laughs> it sounds, it sounds pretty, <laughs> right. Doesn't that sound pretty obvious? It, it really does. It really does. And uh, honestly, I don't get it. Like I don't get what other people don't see in it. It just, cause well, here's the thing when I don't blame people who don't take this approach. Cause you know, I was halfway through getting my doctorate in chiropractic before I ever learned about this. And it took a friend, I was a broke college student and took a friend saying, Hey, do you want to come to this free luncheon? Uh, and I, you know, me having no money, I said, free food, absolutely, I'll be there. And so I showed up and the guy there was talking about how he, in his practice, he reversed diabetes. And my mind just absolutely blew up. I said, you can reverse that? And then I started going down this huge, deep rabbit trail or rabbit hole of functional medicine. And yeah, it just makes so much sense. And when I, and it's not the first time I've heard that response, George, when, when I ever, I explain this style of medicine, inevitably people are like, well, why doesn't everybody do that? Great question. I don't know. I'm just doing what I do and what I believe is best because it radically transforms people's lives. So somebody comes in much like you did, you know, it's, I just don't feel good. I don't have the motivation. I don't have the drive. Maybe I am suffering from some kind of a chronic condition that I've been trying to treat through through medication of some kind. You say, well, let's let's have a deeper conversation. Why don't we take a step back? So I'd like to hear a little bit about that. And then what are some of the interventions that functional medicine utilizes? So our average person has already tried getting their health back two or three times, whether it be through a weight loss program, whether it be through medication or vitamins and minerals. And for lack of a better way to say it, they're just simply playing the guessing game. And that's where we want to take a different approach because they're seeing me for a reason. They're obviously not getting results. We take very detailed labs, blood work to see exactly where we need to go first. Now, one of the main complaints that we have with most of our clients is, but my labs are always coming back normal. Please understand, health insurance is only going to pay for labs that they can prescribe drugs for. That's it. They're not going to take full comprehensive labs to see exactly what's going on with you. No, they just want to simply 
see what see if there's anything wrong give you a pill and send you out the door that's the model that that medic that the medical the main medical model is in where the functional medicine approach is is yes we do need to take more comprehensive labs we need to figure out what's going on at the root underlying cause of the problem and then we can have that deeper conversation saying okay you're not feeling good it's because your thyroid's not working or you're not feeling good you're feeling you're you have IBS, it's because you got massive amounts of inflammation or you got a hidden parasite or gut infection going on. And we need to take care of that. So if I am under the impression that my labs are fine, because that's what my primary care or somebody has told me that, and you are looking at a, a fuller spectrum or fuller yes. range, what are what are some of those indicators that 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 would throw a red flag up and say, you know what? something is wrong with with george uh it well first off the body doesn't work in isolation great question but the body does not work in isolation so if you go to your cardiologist they're only looking at your heart you look at go to the endocrinologist they're only looking at your hormones gp they just kind of look at everything you know they just do the highlights so we need to look at the body holistically because that's how your body operates and when you do it that way, like specifically, let, let's go ahead and just play with this. Like one of the labs that we take, it's called homocysteine. It's an inflammation marker in the body. Well, if you have very, very high homocysteine, that could throw off your thyroid. And the thyroid is like the, like the gas pedal for your body. Your thyroid controls the speed at which your body works. So if you're feeling sluggish, you feel like you want to sleep all the time, you feel um, exhausted, you got brain fog, that could be thyroid, or it could be massive amounts of inflammation going in on your body. You don't know until you do that proper lab testing that is done. And so when I, people always ask, well, what labs did you do you uh, do you run? I say, oh, nose to toes. Like we test for everything. So that way we know exactly what's going on. And Again, it sounds very, very reasonable and makes sense that you'd want to look at everything in total, even though a lot of what we're, I guess, accustomed to or um, taught, conditioned to is to look at, you know, zeroing in on on something. But it doesn't really make a lot of sense that uh, just because I'm getting headaches all the time that there's something wrong with my head. It's probably exactly. something else going on. Yeah, that's not how the body works. The body doesn't work in isolation. Your body, work, your lungs provide oxygen to the rest of your body and it, your lungs just don't simply work by themselves. They serve a bigger, larger purpose. And this is in a, a, probably an unknowable question, but um, when, when, when you look at America just as, as, as a total and you look at all the health problems, how much of it is environmental stuff that, and, and the food that we're eating and just our lifestyle versus, wow, there's a lot of people who are experiencing crazy health problems, but they're, they have healthy lifestyles. <laughs> uh, that's a great question. Okay. So let me tell you a story about a recent client. His name is Jeff and he walked in with fatty liver disease and he was not an alcoholic. He wasn't a diabetic because those are the two main causes of, of fatty liver. It was unknown. The doctors didn't know what to do with him. He was losing weight and his wife was worried that they were going to lose him. And, and he was worried too. And he was going to have to check out soon. And we started changing his lifestyle, what he was eating, what he was drinking, how he's living in his, his life. And in six short weeks, his fatty liver has completely reversed. He's gaining weight. He's getting more energy. And it's all because of the way he's living his life, the foods that he's eating, the things that he's drinking. Now, there's no one size fits all approach. There's no magic diet. There's no magic pill. So we have a very standard process that we walk our clients through that shows them step by step what foods are going to be building Jeff's body up, what food are, were, was uh, tearing his body down. And we walk people through. So that way, by the time people are done with us, they know specifically what is their ideal lifestyle. Because not everybody's meant to go vegetarian. Not everybody's meant to go carnivore uh, or anywhere in between or keto or the next new fad diet. There's a specific way there's a specific lifestyle that is meant for everybody and we help people uh, find that out i think that that's exciting that um our bodies are capable of making pretty substantial changes if we give them an opportunity in a short amount of time so in six weeks you know you could 
I mean, there's no magic wand to your point, no silver bullet, whatever. But if you give your body a chance, it can make pretty good recover your gains quickly. Absolutely. I always uh, I have a saying that, you know, if, if you believe what we believe, that the body has the innate power to heal itself and you can control that then you belong here. You belong with us because that is the truth. You were not meant to be a slave to your own disease. You can own your health because what does health do? Health gives you options. A sick man only wants one thing. A healthy man wants a thousand things. And so when you have your, op when you have your health back, it allows you to be creative. It allows you to show up at work on purpose. It allows you to do that extra thing that's going to mean the most for that client or your customer. How much of how much of being healthy and successfully having a healthy diet, just to kind of take that example of figuring out what foods are right for me and for my lifestyle, um, how much of that is success with that is, 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 is mental for, for, for lack of a better term of me shifting the way I think about it. I think when, when I think of mentality and like mind space, head space, how do we think about healthy lifestyle? Number one, you have to be in the space and recognize that what you're doing is not working and we have to be willing to change. Because otherwise, we're not going to get results. So we have to be willing to change our lifestyle. That's number one. But when I was first getting started on my own wellness journey, I seen the direction that I was taking and that my health was going in, in my early 20s when things were not going well. And I was just simply not okay with that. And I also knew I didn't want to be one of those people that was yo-yo dieting. I was always on again, off again, never consistent. And so I shifted my belief. I started believing that I was a healthy person and I did not simply wait until I had the belief because I knew that I needed to take action to enhance the belief. So I started off and saying, no, I'm a healthy person. And then I started behaving or acting in a way that I thought a healthy person would live. And your actions enhance and strengthen your belief and your belief enhances and strengthens your actions and they compound. And that is what has allowed me to live a consistently healthy lifestyle, not having depression or anxiety or IBS or and having my motivation back for the past 12 years. That's what has allowed me to be consistent is because of that belief and that and I'm taking actions to support that belief. Yeah, again, making sure that we are thinking about the whole person. So all the individual things are important. But we also need to have that belief and have, take ownership over it, which again sounds obvious, Forrest, but uh, <laughs> not necessarily the case for everybody. Right. Well, I, you know, I believe that oftentimes we need to be reminded more than we need to be taught new things. Hmm. And, you know, a lot of us know that we should be eating less sugar or fewer carbs, but knowing specifically when to do it, how to do it, what recipes to cook. How do we escape the sugar cravings? How do we go ahead and start rebalancing our hormones? All those things. And having a coach and a mentor help guide you, hold you accountable to your why, to your bigger goals. That is really the missing piece that that we provide. So when, when I see a client and they've already tried getting their health back, they're missing that coach. They're missing that person to say, you know what? You need some tough love right now. You need to kick in the pants because you told me three weeks ago that this is what you wanted. And now we're having a bad day. And it's okay to have bad days. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. But remember, we have this bigger, bigger purpose. So having a coach, having a mentor keeps you consistent. Yeah. Need to be reminded more than educated, taught. taught you need to be reminded more than taught new things. Yeah. New, it feels shiny and really exciting but most of the times we already know what we need to do and sometimes that's not the case with with healthcare uh, especially if you haven't had the proper labs taken then you just simply don't know and we do need to do comprehensive labs but as far as taking the action like we all know that we should be taking action and it's so important i mean even the most self-disciplined strongest willed people in the world still need support and help and the hand up or the kick in the butt 
every once in a while. I was listening to a podcast. Uh, this was a while ago, but it was with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he said there is, and he said this quote, and it just really resonated with me because in America, we we think that the successors are all lone wolves. They're just simply doing it by themselves. They can make everything happen. And Arnold said, like, there's no such thing as a self-made man. Everybody stands on the shoulders of someone else. And that is exactly how, and that's what Arnold gave credit to his success is that he stood on shoulders of his giants. And that really resonated with me and just brought home the fact that, yes, we need community. We need someone to help us bring our dreams to fruition. Arnold Schwarzenegger said that. I mean, if there's not just an example of what you would perceive to be a self-made human being on planet Earth. And if he's saying that, then I think it's definitely true. So I love That's it. Exactly, I heard that and I'm like, I'm in. I get it. I'm done. <laughs> no, no questions. <laughs> Well, Forrest, thank you so much for coming on. Where can people learn more about you and how can they engage with you and Twin Oaks Health? You can hit me up on the socials. I'm at, at Dr. Forrest Sauer just about everywhere. If you want to work with my clinic specifically, that is TwinOaksHealth.com. We have a lot of different resources uh, that have recently come out and are still coming out to help people get educated on functional medicine. And again, that's TwinOaksHealth.com. Excellent. Well, if you enjoyed as much as I did, show Dr. Forrest your appreciation and share today's show with a friend who also appreciates good ideas, go to TwinOaksHealth.com and check out the great resources and find out if it's the right fit for you to get your health back and feeling better and everything that we've been talking about today and find Dr. Forrest um, on social media at Dr. Forrest Sauer. It's F-O-R-R-E-S-T-S-A-U-E-R. I'll certainly link that in the notes of the show. Thanks again, Forrest. Thanks, George. Until next time, remember, do your part by doing your best.